Good morning and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Braden Webb and it's Friday, January 29th. Let's begin with the brief LHS announcements. If you love photography, writing, and using graphic design, and also meeting new people, consider applying to Yearbook. Yearbook is a hands-on, interactive class that takes place during fourth period. During course selections, select Journalism 1 if you're interested and fill out the application at LHS Yearbook. Everybody is welcome to apply even if you do not have any experience in photography or graphic design. Make sure to follow at LHS Yearbook to stay updated. Attention seniors, graduation is just around the corner and it's time to purchase caps and gowns. Your first step in the process is to complete the senior contact info using this link, which can also be found in the class of 2021 Google Classroom. Once you have completed that step, begin ordering your cap and gown. An instructional video and the link to or the ordering site can be found in the class of 2021 Google Classroom. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to the senior class sponsors, Ms. Craiger, Ms. Techley, and Ms. Crawford. The Georgia State University Dual Enrollment Info Session will be held on February 3rd. This is an opportunity to learn about the dual enrollment process and about GSU's program. Students, please register at the link below to join the GSU Dual Enrollment Info Session on February 3rd at 2 p.m. Once you do so, you will receive a Zoom link and you will be registered in the GSU Dual Enrollment System as an interested student and you will receive updates. Lakeside's literary magazine Skull needs your poems, stories, photographs, and artwork Students Work Drives the Magazine. Any theme is welcome. Visual Arts, English, and Language Arts teachers can help you with submitting your work. Or you can send it to the email right here. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you. Now to Deanna with the news. What's up Lakeside? I'm Deanna and I'm back with current events. President Joe Biden signed two executive actions Thursday that are designed to expand access to reproductive health care and health insurance through the Affordable Care Act and Medicaid. The president's order instructs the Department of Health and Human Services to open up a special enrollment period for the Affordable Care Act. The enrollment period will run February 15th to May 15th, giving Americans who have lost their employer-based health insurance due to the pandemic an opportunity to sign up for coverage. His second order aims to protect and expand access to comprehensive reproductive health care by undoing the Mexico City policy. This policy bars international non-governmental organizations that provide abortion counseling or referrals from receiving U.S. funding. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security on Wednesday issued a national terrorism bulletin warning. The bulletin suggests the riot by a mob of Donald Trump supporters at the U.S. Capitol may embolden extremists and set the stage for additional attacks. The wording of the document suggests that it sees violence aimed at overturning the election as akin to terrorism and that national security officials see a connected thread between recent violence motivated by anti-government grievances. The document also singles out racially motivated acts of violence and the threat posed by extremists motivated by foreign terrorist organizations. And now to Lucas with the weather. Hello, it is your trusty weatherman Lucas here. Currently hiding from the birds. I brought a broom with me just in case if they wanted a piece of me. I'll give you today and this weekend's weather report though. So today, it will be pretty sunny, but we are going to see a huge range in temperatures with the high being 52 and the low dipping down to 29 degrees. Saturday it will be a little bit warmer with the, with the low reaching 42 degrees. On Sunday, we will see a good amount of rain as the temperatures dip back down into the 30s. So pretty much all over the place. Just like these birds. Hold on, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing another ritual going on. That's it for today's Lakeside Viking News. I hope you have a fabulous Friday.